In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to design text tiles and how to design a doors and windows and how to label the text in the plan, how to draw the roof tiles. Welcome to the Flurn tutorial. Okay, let's go to this. I'm going to type here to living room using text, text tool and I'm going to drag here and I'm going to type the text, living room. Here it's going to small size, and we want to make the text style for the here. And I'm going to make the text style here, clicking annotations, and I'm going to click here. I want to make the text styles in the font type. Uh, I'm going to type Times New Roman and font uh, size. I'm going to make the 12, 12 inches, and I'm going to make little bit bold and italic texas make it new yes name it uh, label one label one okay this is my label one textiles here and click set current and i'm going to make another textile here new label two headings Okay, I'm gonna make the text size for 16 here and apply. I'm gonna close this one and click this one and I'm gonna make the textiles table one. And this time it's okay. And I'm gonna move the text layer to text. This is my follow up video. You can learn for the layer types and and other things the basic how to draw the plan you can see my link in down you can click the link and go to that video and after that you can come here to watch this one or you can click the upper card link and find my upper videos okay in here I'm going to copy this one <laughs> press F8 auto mode off on click here and press here click here here, here, make it here. Press escape. Bed, bedroom one. In the angle make the another text here using text tool drag it click this one and make it the text label type label to here double click here and select this one and you can bold underline Next, I want to add some door and design door and window here. In here, I'm going to add the four feet door for front, and other doors are three feet, so three feet doors, and for bathroom, I'm going to add the two feet six inches. Here, I'm going to take the line, click the wall layer, and click here here press enter the offset four feet enter like this and make it trim trim right click and make the trim like this and I have to make the open for the kitchen here here I'm going to offset 3 feet 6 enter trim it that and line I'm going to make here the, this room door I'm going to keep the door here little bit moving no tool offset this one 
three feet six inches no, I'm gonna make. and I'm gonna make these things trim here and I'm gonna copy this one copy enter pick the base point I'm gonna keep here and I'm gonna keep here press escape trim click here and make the trim here and line to this one here to draw offset two feet six enter one and right the trim right click here and trim it it's okay my opens are ready and i'm going to fix the door in here i'm going to draw the timber frames actual size because when i do the 3d i can make it easy line tool press auto mode on and i'm going to press uh, four inches enter three enter this side four enter this side three enter <coughs> escape select this one move to do and make move it and keep it here select this one make the copy here and this point here i'm going to press line tool and i need a door size i make the four feet but i need a door three feet six inches line tool here my opens up on this side I press three feet six inches enter i'm going to keep the thickness one inch and press enter select this one to move to door here or you can match the layer arch start end angle always the dimensions work here to anti-clockwise you can set that to clockwise but the regularly using anti-clockwise and i'm gonna press here and here I'm gonna press 90 degrees and i'm gonna match this one enter to this one right like that in here i want to add a arch not a door i'm going to add another door here then i'm going to click arch three point start center end. same doors i want here and i'm going to make this one of the copy here press f8 to quarter mode make it here same directions gonna make it so we move and make it copy in here I need a three feet dose you can see here and here I'm gonna draw the line tool click here three feet enter auto mode on I press one inch start in angle start and angle 90 degrees to center I'm gonna press the match layer select these things get this one also press center and click to match select these things and copy I make from this base point auto mode off I'm gonna keep here and I'm gonna make the, the outside one use the mirror tool here select the object enter you can mirror press auto mode off press center select this one and move it this is my base point like this I need another door for here, like same. I'll rotate this one. 
I want to select this one, make it copy. Okay, our doors are finished and we want to add some window here. Okay, now in here I have to rename this one, copy this one here, and I'm gonna move this one to here. Con dining, dining. And here I'm gonna add. The windows here for panels and the here to three and others are different uh, here i'm gonna click the, here and to align i'm gonna make it to window and copy this one to offset this one to two feet then make the offset here offset like this now I gotta draw the line in window go to here press enter and make it offset three inches you can see here the command bar enter like this so this one copy make it out another copy here three copies and rotate and make the rotate to like this and I'm gonna make the copy here here and I'm gonna move this one clicking the midpoint and I'm gonna keep here to meet. And here I'm going. I have. I need a three piece of windows, and I'm gonna make the trim tool. Okay. In here, I'm gonna move this window to here. Trim right. My doors and windows are fixed, and I need a fan light here. Hold it, click this one, press auto mode on, and select, move this one to center point. here line tool now I'm going to show you how to add the roof for this one click the roof layer and make the offset and I need a three feet here here and here i describe the things on the next video and press the chamfer here enter you can make the chamfer to here and press again chamfer again chamfer this came in i'm going to change this to roof layer if you want to add the gable roof, you can simply make it like this. This is the gable roof. And if you want to make the hip roof, next video we will see how to make this gable roof to hip roof and how to draw the front elevation to the plan and how to draw the door and window design for the plan. And please subscribe my page and click the bell icon you can watch the next next up videos
coming up videos thank you for watching